It is time to play a game of deception called True Confessions. My first opponent tonight is an award-winning actress who stars in the new Netflix series, Inventing Anna. Please welcome Laverne Cox. to float it in. Uh, Laverne and I will be facing off against a multi-talented actor and director. His new series, Severance, can be seen every Friday on Apple TV+. Plus. Please welcome Ben Stiller! Wow, that's... Whoa! Equally, equally beautifully. What an anchor. Equally beautiful. Good to see you, pal. Nice to see you. Uh, guys, here's how each of this works. In front of each of us are two envelopes containing confessions. One is true, the other is a lie. Once you read your confession, the other two players get to interrogate you. Then they have to come up to a unanimous decision. Is it a truth or is it a lie? Laverne, you're going to go first. Which envelope should she open? I'm holding up. What do you think, Ben? I think number two envelopes. Two. Right. Okay. Yeah. Two. Right? Good. We didn't do Good. this, so that wasn't pre arranged. No, that wasn't pre. See, is this how it is at the restaurant when you're ordering? Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> <clears throat> when I got Orange is the New Black, I celebrated with a nice dinner. But then my card was declined, which is ironic because my character was in jail for credit card fraud. <laughs> All right. That's irony, right? No, why, uh, do, what, what year was this? Orange is the, is the New Black was what? So we shot the first season in 2012, so that was 20, 10 years ago. Uh -huh. And um, the uh, first season premiered in 2013. But when I booked the show in 2012, it was an intense year for me. And I've actually talked about this before publicly. It was the year I turned 40. I was actually going to stop acting um, because I was in rent arrears in February of 2012. I feel like you're talking, talking a lot. too much. Yeah, this it, is too much, too much detail. We didn't we ask one question, she, right? What, Todd, you, do you want to ask me a question? Yeah. Ask me a question. Why were you declined? Why was it declined? Why is anybody's credit card <laughs> That's true, I don't know. I don't know I didn't exactly have any what. money. You didn't have any money. What year were credit cards invented? <laughs> that's it, that's it. He throws you off, he throws you off with those questions. So, Mr. Stiller, I know I'm a woman of a certain age, but I'm not that old. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Huh? Did they I have a question. What, yeah. Simple question. What was the restaurant? The restaurant is this restaurant called L'Express here in New York City. I ordered um, the grilled salmon that you put on a salad, but without the salad, because it was lighter than the, and cheaper, than the um, salmon that you would get as an entree. And then I would have a lot of shredded Parmesan cheese on <laughs> The salmon. Doesn't sound like Good. something that no one with a credit card would order normally. <laughs> wait, Just wait. Saying. But the pièce de résistance, two orders of French fries because they're my favorite French fries in the city. They're so delicious. Do you know? You know the French fries. I do in know. The yeah, fries. the French fries. French fries. They're really yeah. good French no, fries. French fries. Yes. Palm free. A palm free. Yeah. I am saying, absolutely without a doubt, this is a, uh, it's a lie. lie. Total lie. <laughs> Laverne Cox, is it the truth or is it a lie? It's live. Okay, it is my turn right now. Uh, which envelope should I open? One or two? One. I'll say one. One. I was one of the voices on U2's hit song Vertigo. <laughs> <laughs> what um, year was the song released? A song? Release. It's got to be 2005 or something. Or right. two, that sounds like right. Yeah. This was. And, yeah. How did, how did it happen? <laughs> I was at a party with Bono. That's uh, believable. Michael Stipe <laughs> was one of the people there. We had a bunch of friends hanging out. Right. And he was talking about his recording his new album. I said, "Cool." And he goes, "Let me play you a song." And he played me Vertigo on his phone. And so I want to cross check this with the invention of the iPhone. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it was an iPhone. Well, there were no iPhones in 2004, obviously. You're going to play it on a Blackberry? It was Bono, a, it, okay. I think it was an MP3 player. Okay. Maybe not. So. It was something. And now, okay. So, I'm yeah. a little confused. Everything's changing now. So he goes, but I want to add some part here after, hello, hello. And he goes, I want to say, hello, 
Can we get all of you to scream hello? We called his phone and left a message on his phone, and I go, hola! <laughs> and what you hear on the record is me on Bono's voicemail singing, hola! <laughs> I Hola! Right. Hello, oh. hello! Yeah. Hola! I think it's true. I think it's true as well. It is a lie. I oh. will never let Wow. Not bad. Oh. Uh, here we go right now. Uh, uh, ben, <laughs> ben, it is your, yeah. Okay. I will say for Ben Stiller, number one or two. Thank All right, you. so going number two. All right, do number two. He's a legend. Thank you. I, uh, okay. Um, he laughs as he looks at it. I almost made a movie with Mick Jagger. Oh. Um, what movie did you almost make with Mick Jagger? Well, it's similar to my story. Um, I almost made a movie with Mick Jagger that was a uh, a concert film that uh, I was going to direct and, and act in with myself and Brad Pitt based on the story that these two super fans were following the Rolling Stones all around. And I was one and, and Brad Pitt was the other one. And, and we I, I, were... I know, I've known you for a long time. And I know that you've wow. had you have crazy stories. No, 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 no. yeah, right. There's crazy I know stories. For, I know right. you have some crazy stories. Yeah. You, didn't you, you once almost fought Boom Boom Mancini in the ring? Yeah, I did. I almost... <laughs> I was going yeah. to a boxing what, gym. Boom, yeah. Boom Boom Mancini. Were they on the um, what the uh, Flintstones? Boom Boom Mancini. No, the no, boxer, boxing the boxer, champion, too. famous boxer. So yeah. <laughs> Bam Bam. You thinking of Bam Bam? Bam Bam. bam, bam. No Bam Bam. bam, bam. bam, bam. Yeah, not boom. boom Boom. Bam Bam. Anyway. All right, wait, sorry. This has yeah. This has nothing to do with Boom Boom yeah. or Bam Bam. So this Don't definitely happened. We were gonna do this film where we follow them around. And, uh, and Mick actually, it was his idea, and he wanted to do the film, and... What did he uh, say to you? Let, let's go, I've got to do a movie. Right, I, but I've got to convince, he's, I'll tell you what to that say, you do the thing. Right, you tell me what to say. Yeah. He says yeah. what? He, he says, said, um, I really, I think this is a great idea for a concert film. I really think it's a great idea for a concert film. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got to convince the rest of the band. But I've got to convince the rest of the band! Because <laughs> Keith really Co isn't into it. Keith is not into it, Keith is not into it. Now, I don't know. I don't know about this. What do you think? What year was it? That's exactly how it happened. Yeah. Uh, um, this is like 1992, three. This is so like believable that. that I think it's not believable. I think he's lying. What do you guys? What do you I guys think? Lying. What do you think? They think lie. Wait, but I. Or, ben Stiller. We're, we're all gonna say Ooh. it's a lie. It's a lie? Is it? It's true. <laughs> he's the best. That's why he's the greatest. Yeah. That's why he's the greatest. That is why yes. Ben Stiller is the greatest right there. I told you he's a legend. True confessions, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. My thanks to Laverne Cox and Ben Stiller. True confessions. We're talking to Ben Moore after the break. Stick around. All truth from now on.